In WinCC, we use tags to link our graphics on screens we've created directly to our process. For example, my Tank 100 object is connected to my Tank 100 tag, so as it changes value from my process, the fill level on my tank will reflect that change. Likewise, I have an I.O. field that both reads the process values and allows the operator to write directly in it. In this section, we'll take a look at how to attach tags directly to graphics objects. Now that I have my screen laid out, it's time to attach some tags to some of my objects. I'll start with my I.O. field, which is going to reflect the value in my tank. I'll right click this object and choose Properties. And I'll go down to the property that I'd like to attach it to. I'll go down to my property topic, Output Input, and choose my output value attribute or property, and right click on the clear light bulb symbol and choose Tag. My tag browser will be displayed and I can choose any tag I want. I've previously created my Tank 100 tag, so I'll choose it and press OK. Now you can see my tag named Tank 100 is mapped directly to my output value property of the I.O. field. Also notice that it's bold as well as the name of this object is now bold in my objects listing. This allows me to quickly find all the objects on this page that have a tag connection associated with them. Next, I'll put in my push pin, which keeps my properties dialog open as I change between objects. Next, I'll choose my tank, and for my properties under tag assignment, I'd like to associate the same tag, tank 100, to the fill level. So I'll right click, choose tag, then tank 100, and press OK. Now you can see I've associated the same tag, Tank 100, to my Fill Level property. Lastly, I'd like to attach this tag to my slider. I'll choose the slider. This time I'll choose my Miscellaneous Properties topic and a property called Process Driver Connection. I'll right click on the Dynamic, choose Tag, choose Tank 100, and press OK. Now I'd like to test these three tag connections in runtime, so I'll clear my properties dialog and save the page and then go to runtime using file runtime. In runtime you can see if I enter values directly into my I.O. field that it will change the fill level of the tank and also the process driver position on my slider. Likewise, if I move my slider, both my I.O. field and my tank update. So our connection is successful. The next operation that we'll do is add dynamics to the tanks and the pumps.